Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Avas Luxury for Less with me Avenita guys in my video today I'm just going to show you how I extended my bed head so that's what my bed head looked like so these board that I have they're actually a unit that I found on the side of the street and I just took the um, sides off because I wanted to do something different I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it but obviously now I realized what I needed to do with it and it was perfect for what I needed to do so from here as you can see I'm just measuring and cutting it's not perfect but I just tried to go ahead and do so and I just use some braces and some screw just to attach them together so guys I just want to say thank you very much for coming back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and if you're returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to my channel and also from last week I'm still celebrating because I'm 500 subscribers thank you guys so so much I'm so so happy about this so from there once you can see that what I've done I just went ahead and put an old duvet cover now you don't have to use a duvet cover obviously you can use um sponge or anything that you have that you want to use but I just use an old duvet cover because obviously this is more like a recycling thing for me or an upcycle thing basically the same thing so I just try to use what I have at home and as you can see I just use my staple gun just to um wrap the um sorry well I just use the duvet to wrap onto the board and use my staple gun just to staple it down and then after that I just use my scissors and just go around and just trim off the excess duvet that is hanging out because I don't want it to be too bulky so this piece of cloth I got it um, from a charity shop and um, actually spent two pound for it last year I got it when I was doing that upcycle on my chair and I just wrap it onto the first section because I want the um, duvet to be covered so it looks smooth when I apply the last material and I just went in with my staple gun and then just you know just staple it down you want to stretch the, the material so it, it stays in place and I mean it's nice and firm and looks really really nice and then this is what it looks like after I finish wrapping it I just checked it out on my bed head just to be sure that I'd measured it properly from before and it is so from there I went ahead um, to start preparing to securing the extended bed head to my already bed head I had some help from Tyrese because it was quite heavy so um, once I um, attach the secure back bits onto the two as you can see i just cut two pieces of um board and just attach it with some screws and you know just make sure that it's secure there because i'll be using it. it'll be a bit taller so i just want to make sure that it is in place and also that it is sturdy enough and it won't fall off And then from there, I start to measure out as to where I need to cut the material and how much of the material that I would need. It's totally up to you what kind of material you need. I got this material from Edmonton Green. It was only £12 and I really, really like the color. It's silver or gray, so I really like it. It contrasts with everything. And here is what I said I needed some help because it was so heavy after I wanted to start wrapping it so Tyrese had to give me a help first time ever you've seen Tyrese in my video oh my god in this kind of occasion so once I finish um flipping over the already extended bed head I just started attaching um the material with my staple gun as you go along you want to pull but not too tight because you don't want to rip the material so just try to pull and just keep it as neat and tight as possible but not too hard where you need to rip it to pull it to to sorry where you need to pull it so you can rip it so just be gently with it just be very very careful you don't need to rush because this require a lot of patience as you can see i've been back and forth so many times I had to um, take out the staples because where I attach it, I didn't like it and I didn't want it to look all bulky. So you'll see, this is why I'm showing this section so you can see that it's not as smooth as everything, but I had to go back and forth. So just be patient. So all the items that I've used are listed in the description box below if you want to do something like this or even if you just want to see how and all the materials that I've used. So they're listed in the description box below. 
so guys one thing i should have said from the start of this video just please please be very careful with your staple gun be very very careful because sometimes they do stick and if you're not paying attention you will staple and it won't staple and then the time that you're thinking it's not gonna staple it just flicks out on you so just please please be very very careful and this is what i was saying you know i had to go back and forth and just try to get it in as neat as possible so patient is the key right here patient patient So guys, if you haven't seen my video on my small room transformation, you do want to take a look because I featured um, my bed head and also, you know, how I transform, transform my room and my bed is in there. So if you haven't seen the video, just go ahead and click on the link below. You will see it. So small room transformation. And yeah, this is what it looks like after I finished it. This is from my older video. As I said to you before, this is the shot from my older video. And I just, you know, jazz up the bed a little bit and just make it look nice. And I was so, so much in love with it. And then this shot um which is going to come up in a few seconds is basically what my so here we go so this is basically what my bed looks like at the moment so guys if you really think i've done such a good job or if you think i've done a good job please like comment and share also subscribe to my channel but before please comment and let me know what you think let me know what you think in the comment section about my extended bed head i mean i went the cheapest way possible and it, to me it looks nice i would like to have your feedback and what you think of my extended bed head and the fact that all i spent was 12 pounds nothing else because all the other things i already had at home so let me know what you think guys and this is the base i i wrapped the base as well i wrapped the entire bed so i wrapped the four sorry the three um base of the bed and then the head together so i wrapped every everything i'm so in love with this color it's so so nice and it's so soft it looks so so nice so guys please check out my playlist below i'll leave a few of my playlists below so you can check them out if you want to binge watch a few of my videos so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time thank you so much guys thank you bye bye